Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Sister Susie. I have a message, uh, a revelation that I wanted to share with you guys. And today is April the 4th. Uh, happy Passover to you guys. You know, we remember the day that our Lord Jesus Christ was crucified and he died. You know, he was in the grave and he died for us uh, so that we can be reconciled back to God. And that's the whole purpose of the salvation that we have, you know, in our salvation that we have in Christ Jesus. Anyway, I have two revelations I wanted to share. The first one happened in uh, two days ago, and then the other one happened last night. So two days ago, as I was about to go to sleep, um, I went for prayers, and then after prayers, I laid down. I could sense the mighty presence of the Holy Spirit, and um, we just moving up and down. It happened maybe for about five, ten minutes, and then all of a sudden, you know, he went. I went into a vision of the night. And I started seeing myself. I was like taken to a hill area. You know, it, it, it kind of looked like 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 this, like this one that you're seeing over here. Um, you know, not not too big. You know, it was kind of um, a little soil on it. Just a hilly area over on on the on there on the hill, and um, you know, I was like suspended in the in the you know in the atmosphere I could just I was just zooming in to see what's happening I couldn't see my body but just my conscious seeing everything and then I noticed that on the on the on the side there were people you know there were people were really not really people but also their consciousness like their conscious was there but I noticed that there were people you know um waiting they were waiting on this hill and they were waiting for someone okay and as this was going on um, as they were waiting for someone, you know, all of a sudden, you know, um, Yeshua, Jesus appeared, he appeared out of nowhere. He appeared on the hill and, um, he did not come, he did not come close to where everybody was. He stood on the hill because the people were not on the hill, but he was on the hill. He came and appeared on the hill. And so, and after that, you know, I kind of like, you know, the, when he, when Yeshua, you know, appeared, I, I didn't see his face. But I, I, I saw from neck, you know, down. I saw he was wearing a, a white robe and uh, he had a, um, a belt around his uh, waist. And um, another thing that I, uh, what I saw was that, um, you know, I could sense that, you know, you know, this is Yeshua. But, you know, and I was like, wow, everybody was waiting for this person. I could sense that he was also um, like from long time, you know like he's not from this generation that's what i could sense like from long time but yet he appeared and i don't know if that makes sense so he showed up on the mountain on the hill that's you know and the people were waiting looking on the hill and he showed up so um and after that like i said when he came there was just a mighty 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 presence powerful presence that came with him in my body couldn't contain it. You know, he just, he's just so powerful. I tell you, you're sure he's so powerful, powerful, powerful. And, um, and uh, I snapped out of it because my body, I was feeling so much pressure from this power. And when I snapped out of it, I, uh, I, I woke up and I opened my eyes. And when I opened my eyes, I continued to see the vision with my eyes open. And I saw, and I saw like an opening an opening there was like a hole in the opening and i saw what looked like the man that i saw waiting for yeshua on the hill i saw him going from from the from below the hole was going through like you're going up the stairs like maybe if you're going up the ceiling something like that but there's a hole that you have to pass through so i saw him going up like i could see him going up through the stairs and going through the hole into the other realm. And then after him, I saw another young man, I think it was a boy, also going up the stairs through the hole into the other realm. And then I woke up. Okay. And from that, I was like, wow, what is this? You know, uh, and then, uh, I, but I realized that, you know, uh, we are all waiting for Jesus to come, you know, and, um, you know, could it be that, you know, he was going to show up around this Passover when everybody's waiting because everybody's eyes were just fixated on this hill, on this mountain. They were all looking for somebody to come, and he showed up. 
he showed up. So guys, I just want to give you an encouragement that, you know, you know, we shouldn't despair. The Lord is telling us that he will show up. He will show up. You know, nobody knows the hour. We might not know the date, but we know the season. We are in the season and he is coming up. He, he is coming. So do, do not be uh, discouraged. I was really encouraged when I saw that Jesus showed up when everybody was waiting I was really, really encouraged. It gave me so much encouragement that, you know what, this might be it. That's what I was thinking. This might be it. And um, when he showed up, you know, since I snapped out of the vision, you know, it continued when my eyes were open, you know, and it looks like we're going to go through, you know, this this opening, which could be a portal. You know, we're going to go through that and we're going to go into another realm, another dimension. And uh, that, that means rapture. That means rapture. Okay, so um, I have a verse for that. Uh, the first one that I want to show you, I'm going to read really fast with the verses just to show you what's happening. Okay, this is Zechariah 8, verse 3. It says, this is what the Lord says, I will return to Zion and dwell in Jerusalem. Then Jerusalem will be called the faithful city and the mountain of the Lord Almighty will be called the holy mountain. Saints, I think what I saw was Zion, Mount Zion. And everybody's looking to Mount Zion to see if Jesus is coming. I tell you, he showed up. He really did. So let's not be weary in waiting for our Lord Jesus Christ. He's just right there. And another another verse, I have Obadiah 1 verse 17. It says, um, but on, on Mount Zion, there will be those who escape. You see, saying, it, but on Mount Zion, there will be those who escape and it will be holy and the house of Jacob will possess their possessions. You see, saints, praise the Lord. Mount Zion will be those who escape. You know, the rapture is also called the great escape. You know, that's what the rapture is. So it says Mount Zion, that's where our escape is coming from. It will be holy and the house of Jacob will possess their possessions. See, when we escape Mount Zion, we're going to have uh, our inheritance will be given inheritance. Saints, I am so excited. Jesus is coming. He showed up when everybody was waiting and looking for him. He showed up on Mount Zion. And that's where Obadiah 117 says on Mount Zion, there will be those who escape. You know, it's going to be from Mount Zion. Another one that I wanted to share with you guys also is Hebrews 12. Hebrews 12, verse 22, it says, But you have come to Mount Zion, to the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem. You have come to thousands upon thousands of angels in joyful assembly, to the church of the firstborn, whose names are written in heaven. You have come to God, the judge of all, to the, certain, to the spirits of the righteous made perfect, to Jesus, the mediator of a new covenant, and to the sprinkled blood that speaks a better word, than the blood of Abel. Praise the Lord. You see, it says we have come to Mount Zion. Everybody was waiting for Jesus to show up, like I said, and he showed up on Mount Zion. And I tell you, he is here. Jesus has touched ground. Any moment from now, we're going to hear a trumpet. We will hear a trumpet because right now he is on Mount Zion and we're all going to ascend over there. It's a spiritual mountain. Uh, to those of you who don't know Mount Zion, is a spiritual mountain. You know, and that's where, you know, I couldn't see fully, you know, the bodies of people, but just their consciousness, you know, because it's a spiritual mountain and everybody's looking for Jesus there. And I tell you, he showed up. He showed up since. Anyway, so that's the first part of the revelation that uh, the first one that I had. And the second one happened last night, you know, with the blood moon and everything, you know, uh, I just went to bed after prayers, of, of course, and then I went to bed. You know, or the Holy Spirit was also very strong. And this time around, it, you know, I just, uh, I heard words. You know, it was like God the Father speaking to me, not really Jesus, but God the Father kind of, kind of like was conversing with me to tell me what's going to happen, you know, after the whole thing that we're going to go through. So he kind of like uh, gave me four points, four points that we're going to, uh, what, that we're going to do. Uh, it's exciting. I think he's excited too. I could feel that he's excited that, you know, it's kind of, I don't know. He, I just felt like he's excited, you know, uh, for us to be with him in heaven. You know, that's one thing I could pick up. Um, but I couldn't, of course I couldn't see him. I know. I, I just felt his presence. That's all I felt. So the first thing he gave me four points. The first thing was, was, uh, salvation, salvation, uh, we're going to have salvation. And uh, what he means by salvation is uh, rapture, 
the rapture is the salvation. He's saving us from the from the land of Egypt, which is the world. And the secondly is uh, transformation. And uh, the third is teaching. We will be taught by Jesus Christ himself. And the, the fourth, he told me, was restoration. So it's salvation, which is rapture, transformation, teaching, and restoration. So he is restoring us back to himself. You know, that was the whole purpose of the cross, was Jesus to bring us back to God, to, rec to restore us back to, G to God the Father you know, from how everything was from the beginning. So uh, that, that includes a whole lot of things. You know, if you have lost so many things, you have lost children, you know, the, the Lord will restore those children back to you. You know, uh, if it's, uh, you know, anything that you have lost, the Lord is saying restoration. He's, uh, he's restoring us back to him, but also all the things that we have lost, he's restoring us. You know, but all these things are going to happen, I believe, in heaven. So uh, the time is so near, you know, so don't be discouraged. I wanted to share with you guys these visions that the Lord has been uh, giving us. Um, and my sister also, oh, another thing, my sister got the the one for the, the what we call it, uh, the Great Tribulation, where she saw the, uh, the devils, the, the, the demons, they were unleashed on the earth and they were so ugly and so huge, I tell you. They were so bad and just trying, they were ripping people apart. It, it's not going to be pretty, sense. It's not going to be pretty at all. And, you know, they would just grab the, some, they grabbed one man and just ripped him apart, just like that. And I tell you, she, she just couldn't handle it. You know, she had to get out of it, as, get out of the vision too. She just couldn't handle it. So saints, you know, do not uh, let your family members, you know, encourage them to receive Jesus Christ. The time is so near that the trumpet will sound. Will sound. Okay, saints, that's all I have for you. Uh, this is Susie. I love you all. Blessings. Bye.